So, so by far my favorite uh, of the various traditional answers to the Fermi paradox is the cloaking one, that essentially, I don't, sure. I haven't heard of this one. Okay, so plenty of civilizations may get to the point where they fuck themselves up and oh my gosh, blow them they cloak themselves. Uh, but the fact is, also, there are various civilizations that get to the point of figuring out how not to blow themselves up, Correct. but they also recognize that some other civilizations may be not very peaceful and may be willing to go out and, and mess people up, right? And colonize with force. For example, yeah, that's right. And the best way not to be colonized with force is not to be noticed. Ah. Now, of course, today we are aware that we are pumping our, you know, radio wave uh, stuff that is it's yeah. rather, rather indicative of our intelligence, rather fast, <laughs> into, it, uh, well, of, of our... Of our, not, of our having radio transmitters, at least, yeah. mm -hmm. um, um, you know, um, at the moment. But it's not obvious that we would necessarily need to be doing that. We could quite possibly get to a situation where we could do everything we wanted to do down, do down here and the radio waves were not getting out. And if that were true, we might feel that we were safer from other civilizations. So one perfectly good um, explanation for the Fermi paradox is that there are plenty of civilizations, civilizations out there that have survived perfectly well for a nice long time, but they don't want anyone to know that they exist.